Who am I? What does that mean to say I'm a self? How do you think about that? There's two key aspects to that. One is what am I in the moment? So when I'm having this subjective experience right now, when I'm conscious, like how does that work? How does my brain give rise to consciousness? The second part is what is it to be a person across time through things like breaks in the continuity of consciousness, through things like changes to our physical bodies? And that's the question of personal identity. What makes someone the same person, different time points? And the reason why I highlight that those are different, primarily because because although whenever I'm talking and feeling things, I'm conscious at that point in time, I'm fairly certain I can survive periods of time when I'm not conscious for a while. So when I'm asleep, I'm probably not conscious. When I'm under anesthesia, there's even stronger evidence that I'm not conscious. And there's even some procedures involving inducing hypothermia in individuals, where you can see that for a while, surgeons can have someone's brain activity stop, their heart activity stop, you cool them down to 18 degrees, and they still have something like a 60 minute operating window in which they can then warm the patient back up again, their brain activity is restored, and they go back to consciousness. That's why I see the two issues as different. What is it to be me in the moment consciously? And then how do I survive over decades, years, that sort of thing? Personal identity.